Hello, my brothers and sisters. Bishop Rojas and I want to express our love, our support, and our solidarity with you, the people of God, as we continue to walk this difficult path of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have dealt with uncertainty and great concern about our health and our livelihood this year. We have closed our churches, reopened them with precautions, and almost recently we have moved our celebrations of the Eucharist outdoors. Schools remain closed. Our students will begin this year with distant learning. This new way of education can create added stress in our households. I hear stories every day of our people, essential workers who are risking their own lives. People like ER nurse Amy Escobedo, a mother of three who treats COVID-19 patients every day, or Jose Perez, who works at an industrial laundromat cleaning hospital clothing and bedding, or Anna Hinojosa, who braves the sweltering temperatures of the Coachella Valley, where the virus is very prevalent, to harvest fruits and vegetables that help nourish our region. Like you, I had hoped that by now we could be back to living and worshiping as we are accustomed. That is not what God has put before us right now. God calls us to draw nearer to Him, to put our faith in Him, to trust that He will lead us through the dark valley. If we are a people of hope, we must show it now. Throughout our history, the Catholic Church has faced difficult moments of suffering and trial. In the time of Exodus, in the early years of the apostles, and even as we first came to the United States, now is our moment of great challenge. Our faith has always sustained us, even as life and hope. We don't know what the coronavirus has in store, but we know what we are made of. There are many things we do to keep our faith alive. Reading the Bible, praying the rosary, discussing and sharing our faith with family and friends, and participating in mass at our parishes or through live stream. Our prayer life is so important today. Let us take all that burdens us to the Lord. I know there are concerns about the decisions that have been made to close our parishes, to suspend public masses and other restrictions in response to government directives. I want to be clear that I have taken these actions out of reverence for life. The threat that COVID-19 poses to the lives of some of our brothers and sisters is real. So we are called to observe these health and safety precautions out of love and care for each other. Doing this does not in any way reflect a lack of faith on our part. God asks us to trust the wisdom of those He has chosen in the fields of science and medicine. He works through them to protect us and heal us. Our state and our region are experiencing a spike in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. We know that through our own behavior and our own practices, we can have an impact on the spread of this virus. Whether it gets better or worse depends a lot on us. Let us recommit ourselves to doing the basic things we know will keep us safe. Wear a face covering in public, maintain six foot social distancing, wash our hands frequently, avoid social interactions, beyond our own household. If you feel sick, isolate yourself and seek medical attention. Bishop Rojas and I extend our prayers and our blessings to all during this difficult time. Hardships like this can drive us to despair and isolation. They can take us away from the mission of our church, but we have our faith, we have each other, and most importantly, we have our God who loves us and accompanies us always. We may be knocked down, but we are not knocked out. And we move on, siempre adelante. Let us ask in a special way for the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary as we travel together to meet her son. Know that you are in our prayers every day, and please also pray for us and for each other. May God bless you.